Guys, what's going on? Your boy Amar here. We're doing another tire review today. Today I got a 33 1250 17 Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ. Now, this is a little different tire review. This is a worn, W O R N, worn tire review of a Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ. Let's see how many years later it was. Check the DOTs. DOT, DOT, where art thou? Let's check the other side. Check out these DOTs. 2012, five years later, was it worth it? Okay, now let's rephrase that. Warren Mickey Thompson tire review, five years later, was it worth it? Should I have bought it? How'd they wear? Did I get ripped off? Is Mickey Thompson good? Are they full of it? Yada, 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 and answer all your questions that when you go and buy a tire that you're thinking at that moment. Okay, 33, 12, 50 by 17, 33 inches high. 12 and a half inches wide, 17 inch rim diameter. Okay, it's a very common size. This came off a Jeep Wrangler that was leveled. It's a bread and butter size. It's got the side biters. Now, looking at the tire right off the bat, as you can see, if there are any wear bars. So this is a five year old tire. Buddy put approximately 60,000 kilometers on this. Okay, and right off the bat, side biters. The face of the side biter here completely intact. The edge of the side biter is completely flat, which has now been completely buffed at the wear bar. So right here at the wear bar, where it meets the tire, these are exactly, well these tires are scrap, and they have, they were, that's why they were changed, but they were, they made it right to the wear bar. In between the, that's a groove of the tire, if you can clearly see. You see that right there, okay? And the wear bar, smooth as can be, not even a little divot, so these tires did wear even pretty much, but overall they are a little lumpy on the side biters. They are lumpy, so uneven wear there, uneven wear on the side. You're gonna find that here, uneven. So, so you're gonna get that slapping noise on the road, that, 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 that noise on the road. And the middles wore a lot faster than the outer edges. The middles are completely worn, so the customer probably had underinflated, overinflated, and he did rotate them. That's some mud on there. Not shit, okay. So the customer did have them rotated, which was good. Now, did the, was it, now, was it a good decision by the customer to buy them? Did he get ripped off? Did he get his money out of the tire? Did he get the best bang for his buck? Well, over five years, because we sold these tires five years ago and 60,000 kilometers later, he did overall on the big picture. Yes, he did good because he got five years total life out of these tires. Mileage wise, 60,000K for MT tire, realistic mileage. Not that other bull crap they put on there with a big fancy, uh, big fancy smancy medallion or a big seal on their website saying 120,000 kilometers. No, 60,000 Canadian kilometers done. Okay, customer replaced these tires. I think we sold them for like 200 and some odd bucks. No, three bones, just close to 300 bucks, amount of balance out the door. He liked them, they're a great tire. He had no negative reviews about it, he loved them because you're getting Mickey Thompson, you're buying the name. Mickey Thompson, don't know much about the guy. He's long gone though, but everybody loves their tires, branded very well, the customer is happy. Load range D, so it's not a low D, it's a radial, okay, it's not a bias ply, which is noisy as hell and it's a piece of crap. So great tires, so five years later, the customer pretty much overall got great value. The tires did wear, except the, the middles, I'm a little disappointed, were worn a little bit too much compared to the outer edges, the side biters, which you never really use. If you're driving, this guy's driving a Jeep, it works in office, it's got the scoops here to get the mud out. So those really never really got used. The side walls were mint because you never really use them, okay? They're just there for show. But uh, Mickey Thompson, he did a good job. Now follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. It's Hilliard Rim Lions, okay? And then my name's Amar Sierra, A-M-A-R-S-H-R-A. Make sure you follow us. And this was another tire review. Mickey Thompson, five years later, did I get ripped off? Thank you.